Doctor, and today I want to talk to you about how medication affected my camera presence. About 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with narcolepsy. Those of you who don't know what narcolepsy is, it's actually a sleeping disorder that affects the brain. It means that you want to sleep all the time. At the time I was diagnosed, I wanted to sleep all the time. Even driving to work was hard and I had to have a nap on the way or at work for about 20 minutes. It was terrible. Even coffee didn't make any difference. The doctors never knew what it was at first because I have a rare symptom, which means that when I laugh, I collapse on the ground. My left side completely shuts down. The first time it happened, Michael and I had just been on an amazing date when it happened. I was terrified and I thought maybe I was having a stroke or something. Luckily, they found that I go into deep sleep within two minutes of going to sleep. Most people take about 15 minutes when they go to deep sleep. I was missing REM in my sleep pattern. So my brain wanted to go into REM when I laughed, I was in shock, or I was deeply upset. So now why am I telling you all this? Because they put me on medication for a long time. The doctors told me I had to be on medication for the rest of my life, and it was a nasty drug called dexamphetamine, a horrible upper. It was a bit like speed, I guess. It would keep me awake. They also put me on antidepressants to remove my collapsing symptoms. I didn't like being on any drugs and after seven years, enough was enough. At the time, I was also working on my camera confidence and I noticed whenever I wanted to be on camera and I had medication, it amplified my feelings and I never looked connected to the audience. As soon as I stopped my medication, however, I was much more connected to the camera. I'm very grateful that I listened to my instincts because I have been on no medication now for seven years. I'm better than I've ever been and I may have a nap a day, but I've created a business that supports me and my lifestyle so I can nap whenever I need to. The moral of the story though is if you are on medication and feel really unconfident on camera, it may be the medication that you're on. Some medications really knock you around. It did for me. I noticed a huge difference in connecting and being present on screen. I hope my story has inspired you to think about your medication and follow your instincts like I did. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you want to learn more about business, making a difference and video marketing, subscribe now.